In this uh, next video, we're going to look at sketching a curve given in polar coordinates. In this case, the hyperbolic spiral, r theta equals a, where a is some positive constant, and we restrict theta to be uh, strictly positive. Now, the first thing we want to prove, uh, it's part of the question when it's stated, is that the line y equals a is a horizontal asymptote to this particular curve. Well, that's not too bad. We'll need to use one of the uh, limits that we have from earlier. So let's rewrite this as what we've got. We've got r is a over theta. Then in Cartesian coordinates, y will be a sine theta over theta. And x will be a cos theta over theta. I've written y first because that's the thing we're interested in. And we're going to ask ourselves what happens as theta tends to zero, uh, from above, of course, because we're interested in theta positive. Well, let's get x out of the way first, cos theta over theta. As theta goes to zero, cos theta tends to one. So this, was this is going to tend to infinity. So the x coordinate is going to tend to infinity. What about y? Well, it's a sine theta over theta. And as you all ought to remember, sine theta over theta has limit one as theta tends to zero. As that is true, that's true. So we know we know that the limit as uh, theta goes to zero of sine theta over theta is one. In fact, we can say a little bit more than that. As theta goes to zero from above, which is what we're interested in, sine theta over theta will in fact tend to one from below. So I'm gonna write that way. And we know that because sine theta is less than, strictly less than theta if theta is positive. That's actually a very simple exercise using the mean value theorem. I thought you might find it in the calculus lecture notes. So what does this tell us? It tells us as theta goes to zero from above, y will tend to a, and it will tend to a from below. Now, since that limit is true, as theta goes to zero from uh, above, y goes to a from below. Not a to the minus one, just a. Right. So let's put that in now. The asymptote y equals a. There it is. And the curve is tending to uh, this fr line from below, so it's going to be down here somewhere. This is the next part of the question, sketch the curve. So we're down here. And as theta increases from zero, notice that's, by the way, that is x tends to infinity, so we are out that way. As theta tends to, as theta gets larger, the curve, we're, we're rotating round right, in an anti-clockwise direction. So the curve will come in this way because r will get smaller, right? r is a over theta. So we'll get a curve that spirals round and goes in tighter and tighter towards the origin as theta tends to infinity. And that is the hyperbolic spiral. Thank you.